Hello and welcome to Man Cave Media. On this channel I talk about beer, sneakers, tech, and toys. If you're new here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Also, please follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram at media.mancave and on Facebook and Twitter at mancavemedia.org. And finally, if you enjoy listening to podcasts, please check out the League of Sedentary Gentlemen. We're available wherever you get your podcasts or direct from our website at man-cave-media.org. All right, I decided to uh, upgrade my hi-fi equipment out here in my office and we're starting with the amplifier. Let's check it out. All right, so uh, before we get into this, um, this is not a review. If you saw the title of this video and you came here looking for a, re a review of the product, uh, please stay tuned for that. This right now is just going to be a simple unboxing uh, because I have more pieces to this. Um, I'm also replacing uh, my speakers and a subwoofer. And so I wanna get everything unboxed and get everything set up, get the speakers broken in. And uh, then I'll do a review of this unit and the speakers that I unbox on a future episode. Uh, so please stay tuned for that. Um, uh, like I said, this is just going to be an unboxing. So what I have here is a Dayton Audio Hybrid Tube Amplifier. It is a Class AB amplifier. And it is my first experience with any type of tube amp. So this should be fun. So uh, I heard good things about uh, tube amplifiers, you know, over the years. And, you know, that they're, they're really expensive. And um, I don't know, I just, I kind of felt like I never really needed one. And then they started making these uh, these hybrid tube amps which have the tubes on the input side. And then the uh, power, the output side of the amplifier is um, um, capacitors. And so uh, when they started releasing these uh, hybrid amps, they're, um, they're a lot cheaper than a true like full tube amplifier. And they still get uh, pretty decent reviews as far as sound quality goes. And one thing that this amplifier has that a lot of tube amps don't is a lot of uh, inputs. So it has uh, an RCA input. It has a Fano input for a turntable. And it has a uh, Bluetooth and it also has optical. And so uh, that right there, like I thought it was a good deal for, for, for the price. Um, another thing that it had that I really wanted was a re was a requirement for me is a sub out. Woo, it's a big box. My goodness. I probably should have done that a different way, but yeah. That's a big box. So, anyhow, uh, as I mentioned, this is a class AB amplifier. It is 2.1 channel, which was very important for me. I needed something that had a sub out uh, because my current speakers that I have, they are some old uh, KLH speakers that were hand-me-downs from my dad. And they're, you know, circa 1992 probably or 93, they're old. They still sound great. Uh, the surround, the foam surrounds are wearing out. There's a hole in a couple of them. They need to be redone. And they're, but they're huge and, you know, floor standing speakers are huge. And I don't have a lot of extra room back here in my office. And so I've been looking to downgrade uh, size wise, but not audio quality. And so to replace the, 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 the low frequencies that these things produce, uh, I decided to go with something with a subwoofer, a 2.1 system basically. 
And so that was a requirement for me. And there's not a lot of these tube amps out there that have a sub out in my price range. And so this fit the bill. So continue on with the unboxing here. This is just some paperwork. So the, it is the uh, the model number is HTA 100 BT. By the way, I forgot to mention that. Oh, onwards. Woo. Heavy. My goodness. thing has got some weight to it, man. My goodness. Ugh. I'm sure that bag sounded awesome on the microphone. Oh, goodness gracious. So, it ships with the tubes installed. That's sketchy. <laughs> but, I mean, it was, uh, it was plenty well protected, but still, like, I mean, if I were selling this to someone and shipping it off, I'd probably would uh, take the tubes out and secure them somehow. But look at that, we got a couple of peels. I can lift this big girl up here. Oh man, so satisfying. Oh man, all right, two more on the, on the meters in the front here, but I'm, I'm not gonna lift it up like that for that. I don't wanna drop it. <clears throat> uh, so um, it comes with tubes four tubes installed uh, I'm not sure what so the tubes that it uses on the preamp side are two 6U1s and two and two 6F2s alright so let's start with the, uh, the front panel so on the front panel we have a power button which is oh very satisfyingly clicky oh man I like that and then we have uh, two meters, which is good. Uh, a lot of the ones in my price range only had one meter on the front. Uh, so I like that it has one meter for each channel. That's cool. Uh, we have a input selector, which is also very satisfyingly clicky. I mean, these buttons are, oh, let's lift her up here. These buttons are really nice. Power button, input selector. I mean, these are really clicky. Really good feeling buttons. And then we have, what does it say? Oh, play, pause, and then uh, forward and backward buttons for skipping. That's cool. And then we have bass and treble. They're just uh, turn dials here. It's notched for, um, for dead center is cool and then a standard volume knob which that feels a little crunchy I don't know. oh there it goes this smoothed out oh I don't know how I feel about that <laughs> it's smooth now but when I first turned it it was a little crunchy yeah that's a little sketch so uh, that is the front panel it does have indicator lights for what uh, input you are on four tubes on the top and they do come with a like tube protector. So if you don't, you know, if you're fearful, like especially with me, I have kids and you don't want anybody touching the tubes because you don't want them to get burned. The tubes get pretty hot. Uh, or if you don't want to break one by mistake, uh, it comes with this, this uh, little guard plate and already installed over the tubes. This will be pretty high up on a shelf. So I'll probably remove the guard plate um, strictly for show <laughs> and I haven't decided yet though so for now I'm just gonna leave it be on the rear we have the subwoofer out all important subwoofer out 
we have a coax, we have an optical, we have an auxiliary, and we have a Fano. And it also has USB, which is awesome because the turntable that I have uh, actually has a USB function. And so I'm going to see if I can use it that way. Uh, so again, stay tuned for my review. I will let you know if I was able to hook it up that way or not. And then we have two uh, standard uh, speaker plugs, speaker inputs, speaker plug, um, which looks like they would take a banana clip. And they're also a screw on. So I think you have choices there on how you want to do it. And because it has the, uh, the built-in phono uh, preamp, you do have a spot here for ground. Very important. Oh, and then it uses a standard uh, Molex power connector, which is cool. Uh, single fan on the rear. This is uh, 50 watts per channel, so 100 watts total. Uh, so it is a little bit on the powerful side as far as tube amps go. And there were a few negative reviews uh, on Amazon about the noise, you know, the, how loud the fan is. Uh, the way I'm gonna have this hooked up, I don't think the fan's gonna be a problem. I'm not gonna sit anywhere near this uh, when I'm actually listening to music, so it would have to be really loud for it to interfere with my uh, listening enjoyment. Uh, so, but again, stay tuned for the full review. Uh, I will tell you if the fan ramps up or not, or if it's like noticeable and annoying. Um, again, cl class AB amplifier, 50 watts times two. Uh, I believe it does four or eight ohm RTFM. Uh, oh, only four ohm. So 50 watts per channel uh, at four ohm load. So there you go. And it is, uh, it's Bluetooth 5.0. And no really, um, I didn't see any negative reviews that really stuck out about Bluetooth connectivity. I know that's an issue with a lot of these as well. And so again, you know, I'll thoroughly test that and I'll have that in my review. Um, other than that, I mean, it's pretty much it. I don't think I'm missing anything important I need to talk about. So on Amazon right now, this is $214. I actually grabbed this when it was on sale. It dipped down below 200 for a, a brief period. Um, so I had it added to one of my lists, so I was alerted when it dipped down and I grabbed it. I was in no hurry to do this. Um, the current setup that I have now, uh, it's, it's fine. It's just, it takes up a lot of room. It's old. Like I said, the speakers need a little bit of love. <clears throat> and instead of, you know, spending time and money on those, I, I decided to just go with something smaller to, to give myself more room back here. And so when I do my re full review, <clears throat> When I do my full review of this guy and the, the speakers that I purchased, uh, I will talk about my existing system uh, before I tear it down and do a little bit of a comparison. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to make sure that the new speakers are broke in. Um, whether or not you believe in that sort of thing, I do believe that speakers do sound better after they've been run in a bit. And so after I break them in, I will do a comparison to my old setup. The receiver that I have right now, it's an old Sony, also from the same era as the speakers, the early 90s. Um, still great, works works really well. It's been well taken care of throughout its life. Um, again, just uh, downsizing, but uh, trying not to sacrifice audio quality. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get some close-ups of this beauty, shall we? All right, that's all I have for this one. Thank you again for stopping by. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great evening, and like always, thank you for watching.